More news from uh, the Zimmerman Law Team. I can't. I'm not even sure I'm ready for this. <sighs> well, as as it seems, they've actually done something surprising. They have apologized for something. Uh, for uh, trying to drag his name through the mud and just generally um, uh, typecast him as something that he's not, or or what? What did they apologize for, man? Well, for that, but only this one time, uh, because they uh, produced this footage from Trayvon Martin's cell phone that they said in court was evidence of Martin beating, uh, videotaping his friends beating a homeless man. But in actuality, but, it was actually just two homeless men arguing over a bike. And so he recorded it with his, his phone. Yes. Like, like hundreds of thousands of people do on a regular basis. Yes. Got it. Just wanted to be sure. Uh, they're not sure how that became Trayvon Martin and friends beat the homeless. And they apologize. Oh, they apologize for that. Oh, they apologize. Oh, well, that's so kind of them that they apologize for uh, continuing to slander the dead kid, uh, and, uh, and getting away with it for the most part until someone can flat out say, uh, and again, why the hell is he on trial? Why is the kid on trial? <laughs> if, the, if this was, if this was Zimmerman's phone, then my guess, this is a discussion we should have. The kid's dead! <laughs> And you're telling me that, like, somehow, in a game, well, we don't know what's on, we gotta, we gotta go through all this phone. This is one of the most saddest things I've seen in a long time. Holy shit on a cracker. First of all, it's two trials. First, we have to find, we have to prove that Trayvon Martin is a human being. And then, once we've confirmed, we can then have a murder trial regarding uh, Zimmerman. And, um, but, but not, uh, not a minute before. Not a minute be before. Not a minute in court. Of, course, of not. course it's not. But the point is that people, what's going to happen is people are like, oh, you, you, know, you know there's a video of uh, Trayvon Martin beating up a homeless guy, right? Ugh. By the way, I, I appreciate how they've adopted the Fox News style thinking aloud into a whole defense strategy. It's like, you see this video? This this this, this could be him filming the guy. I mean, I it could be because, I mean, black kids, they do that, right? But it could be. I don't know. I mean, it, it's not him. Oh, fuck. Oh. Sorry, guy. Oh, listen, sorry listen, don't that. worry about that. All right, don't worry about that. You're telling me yet. that they didn't, they wouldn't have known that before, that before they, uh, they, uh, they, they would, it got out there. You're telling would, me you didn't know that that wasn't Trayvon Martin. They would have known that within. Well, they seven, said it was him filming his friend. No, they would have known this within six days of this happening. They would have, kn- I would, they would have known it just by looking at the clip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is ridiculous. This is this is beyond. Like they, I don't even know how. I have no words for them. Well, whatsoever. they have actually uh, have accused Trayvon Martin's family of trying to uh, poison the evidence pool and public opinion because of their website, and they didn't apologize for that. So, what? The, well, what? The, what exactly did the Trayvon Martin parents' parents do? I don't recall seeing them drop any media on the media. Well, you know, they sat around saying that their son was a human being who deserves life, respect, and well, true. protection. Well, that would. That's like that's like running around screaming you're guilty or not guilty during the humanizing trial, the humanization trial. <laughs> we're, we're, so we're not, you can't, when we're trying to figure out whether this boy is human, you can't have his parents up there on TV saying that my boy is human. That'll actually sway the jury. So they have a point. You can't be out there. And maybe after we confirm whether he's human or an animal worthy of being gunned down in the street, then we can go ahead and have his parents speak up about how much of a human, how much of a, a normal kid this uh, their boy was. No, let's uh, let's just, let's just uh, let's just keep slandering the other uh, dead kid. Let's just come up with as much as we can say and as much negativity as possible, uh, and then uh, go about your day. I mean, I wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't be surprised for them to yell something really froggy in court and then say, and then uh, the other side says objection and just go, you know, what? you're, you're right on it. Uh, 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 we, we take it back. I feel like they're going to be playing that game. Like, didn't Trayvon Martin rape and kill a woman and then do coke off her dead body? Objection, Your Honor. You know what? You know what? Sorry about that. You don't, you don't, you don't have to answer that. Like, yeah, great. Thanks. Thanks. You've already put, you're putting it out there. You're specifically trying to paint a picture. And the fact is that you're being this shameless with a dead kid, a dead 17 year old that was unarmed and didn't, and I, all right. All right. You're right, Elon. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm I'm a little annoyed about this.